welcome back. I'll be going over my 16th installment in the training vlog series today, as well as detailing the new program that I'm running. Before I break that all down, make sure you know hit the bell, hit subscribe, like the video, and drop a comment too. Thank you. So I am going to be transitioning away from 531 as I feel like I'm just a little bit too advanced for it. I don't really recover from the PR top sets, um, the AMREPs, very well, and they're just starting to become draining, and I'm not looking forward to them, honestly. So I figured I would switch over to the 3-2-1 style program. Uh, you, do not, you do not see the first wave here, so usually um, you do two to three waves. Uh, I'm going to stick more on the side of two just because I'd like to do more back down and accessory work. But you can check out in the description of this video, I will have uh, the percentages and the ways that the waves are laid out. You know, basically each wave is a set of three, a set of two, and then a set of one. And so I'm going to be getting in more volume. You know, you know there's going to be more total sets than 531, but they're going to be in a program, you know, that I can kind of mess with the percentages a little bit more. Uh, with 531, the percentages are locked in. Also... <clears throat> It's more submaximal work, so there's no AM reps or top sets that I'm really going to be straining myself on. It's just going to be a lot of practice with uh, submaximal weights. That way I can improve my technique. So after I were ramped up to 430 for a nice solid training max, you know, that moved pretty well, about as fast as 425 did uh, as my first attempt in the mock meet. So, you know, that lets me know I probably still got about 500, 510 pounds in the tank. And, uh, once I get over the sickness and get my sleep back on track, I'm pretty sure that um, I'm going to run the peaking phase as well and pull some pretty big weights in the future, probably around 5.30, 5.35, hopefully, after the upcoming peak. So after the top set, you know, or the top single of the day, I moved on to the cone deadlift. Uh, this is an accessory movement that it just works really well for me. It helps me build speed off the floor. Also is great for building up the lower back glutes and hamstrings with a really light weight. And I wanted to get in three sets, but, um, you know, due to being sick and not sleeping well, you know, I decided to just do a set of banded good mornings. That way I could get some blood flowing into my lower back, get in a little extra volume, but at a really low uh, fatigue cost. You know, just a lot of good stimulus here, um, good restorative movement without a whole lot of, you know, uh, movement that's draining my capacity to recover. Now the technique on these is a little bit different than a barbell good morning. It is very lightweight, you know, relatively to what you're doing on a good morning. So you can actually take the approach of breathe in on the way down and breathe out as you come back up on really high rep work like this. If I was doing a Valsalva maneuver where I was holding my brace through the rep, you know, I would be exhausted by the time I hit 20 reps and I really wouldn't be able to accomplish what I want to accomplish with this exercise, which is just, you know, fast pace, getting in a lot of reps and a lot of blood flowing into that lower back. So now you see me doing the fat grip pull-ups. These actually feel better than regular pull-ups for me. I think uh, having the hand open so wide and having to squeeze it so hard is kind of helping to alleviate the shoulder pressure that I usually feel on pull-ups. So I might have to stick with these for a while and see where they take me. I'll start adding weight eventually once I get to sets of 10. Now here I took a page out of Alpha Destiny's book and I decided to do some weighted sissy squats. This is my first time trying them out. You know, since my leg extension leg curl over on the right side is broken, you know, it's a pretty cheap one and the peg where you put the weights on, it actually fell off one day. The weld snapped and the plates just fell off onto the floor. So um, I'm currently going to save up some money and buy a new one eventually. But in the meantime, I'll just be doing these sissy squats as well as uh, banded leg curls, which you'll see later on. And you can see these sissy squats, you know, they're not easy. Um, I feel you have to kind of control the eccentric and co control the concentric as well. Because if you try to explode up, the other muscles will kick into play. You really want to try to focus on the lower quad when you're performing the sissy squat. And this one I actually got from a Matt Wenning Instagram video. I used to do my banded leg curls uh, with a seated version, 
this is just an easier way to set it up. It's a little bit faster. I don't have to drag the bench over. I don't have to position the bar and put a bar pad on to prevent the knurling from ruining my bands. I can just, you know, loop it over the pull-up bar and lay on the ground. So as far as accessibility goes and ease of setup, this is a much better variation. And this is a great way to build up your hamstrings, especially um, for the last few reps, you want to try to control the eccentric. That way you can get the best of both worlds. So the first few, you know, 20 reps or so, really do them fast and focus on the overspeed eccentric to help get some blood flow into your tendons. And then on the last 10 reps or so, do slow eccentrics in order to build uh, eccentric strength in the hamstrings, which is huge when it comes to preventing hamstring tears. And then last but not least, you see me wrapping the workout up with hanging leg raises. As always, I preach, you know, every lower body day, end it with some traction work. You know, hanging leg raises, uh, a reverse hyper if you got access to that. It's going to go a long way of keeping you in the gym for a long time and help you get strong for a long time without any back pain. That's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for watching the video and have a great day.